Hello, this is Stefan from the More 3D Tech team. In today's tutorial, we will look at how to enable your Windows Mixed Reality VR glasses for use with the Morvis software. Mixed Reality glasses are, for instance, the Lenovo Explorer or HP Reverb G2 or G1. With the Reverb G2, we see a very high resolution, highly portable HMD on the market that is very affordable, delivers great quality and is easy to handle after some initial configuration hurdles have been overcome. To get you started with your Windows Mixed Reality HMD, simply plug it into your computer. Automatically the Windows Mixed Reality portal will come up. Follow the instructions on screen to get your configuration up and running. There may be some initial hurdles to overcome in installing the Windows Mixed Reality Portal when you install it for the first time in a company environment. For instance, the IT department might have blocked the Windows Update packages necessary to install the Mixed Reality Portal. Look in the video description for helpful links to Microsoft websites on how to overcome these little hurdles. Once you have installed the Mixed Reality Portal successfully, it is time to download and install the Steam software, which is available on steampowered.com. Simply click the green button in the top right corner download and install the Steam software. You will be required to create an account for this software distribution platform. I am skipping these steps as I have Steam already installed. Once Steam has started and loaded, you can go to the shop page and search for Steam VR. Choose Steam VR from the list and click Install Now. The download will automatically be started. Now that Steam VR has installed successfully, we need to download another package which is Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR. It is available on the shop page of Steam and is free. The download is basically done in an instant. Once those two packages have been installed successfully to your computer, simply click Start for Steam VR. It might install a few redistributable packages. Now that Steam VR is ready, we can also power on a VR controller. In case your controller is not instantly recognized, simply restart the Steam VR software. Now the controller is also correctly recognized. In the next step, launch the Morvis Launcher, check your settings. For me, I'm requiring only one client now that should output to Steam VR. I quickly check for my enabled applications. Yes. I do another real quick check. Yeah, I'm setting to TCP mode, launching my client, finding my client and applying the settings, restarting the client and we are good to go to load plant simulation. Now I can load any model of plant simulation and view it in real time VR.
and of course I can start and stop the animation inside the software. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to contact us at support at more3d.com for any technical questions and assistance. Contact us at morevistrial at more3d.com to receive your free 14-day trial license of the Morvis software. Thank you for your interest and see you next time.